Welcome to another Goodwin English video lesson. My name is Randy League, and today we are going to study words used to talk about countries and nationalities. Today, we're going to study many words that are related to countries and nationalities. We are going to talk about many different countries. Of course, it's not possible to show all the countries in the world in such a short lesson. If your country is not included, check its English name on the internet or ask your English teacher. Today, we're going to look at some nouns and adjectives that can be used to describe different countries. Before we start, we publish new videos almost every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to learn about our latest videos. First, we're going to take a look at a lot of different words. For each word, I will show you a picture so that you can understand what the word describes. After I say the word, please repeat after me so you can practice your pronunciation. First, we are going to start with the continent of North America. In North America, we have Canada, Mexico, and the United States of America. Sometimes we say USA, uh, and sometimes we say America, and some people say the States. Next, let's take a look at the continent of South America. Here we have Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, and Peru. Next, let's take a look at Europe. Here we have Germany, Italy, Poland, and Spain. And here we have the UK, also known as the United Kingdom. Within the UK, we have Scotland, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Next, we have Australia and New Zealand. Next, we will look at Asia. Here, we have China, India, Japan, Pakistan, and Thailand. Next, let's look at Africa. Here we have Egypt, Morocco, South Africa, Kenya, Nigeria. Now we're going to learn the different adjectives that you can use to describe different parts of the country and its culture. When we talk about the country, we use the noun. For example, I live in Japan. But when we want to talk about food, culture, uh, people, or nationalities, we need to use the adjective form. For example, I like Japanese food. Japanese people are very polite. Tomoko is Japanese. Let's take a look at some common adjectives that you can use. Most countries' adjectives 
will end in I-A-N or A-N. For example, American, Argentinian, Australian, Brazilian, Canadian, Colombian, Egyptian, German, Indian, Italian, Moroccan, Peruvian, South African, Tunisian. Many other countries' adjectives will end in ish. For example, British, English, Finnish, Irish, Polish, Scottish, Spanish. A few countries' adjectives will end in ESE. -E. Uh, for example, Chinese, Japanese, Portuguese. There are a few rare exceptions. For example, Pakistani, Thai. Usually, words for languages are often the same as the adjectives used to describe the people. For example, the people who live in Japan are called Japanese, and the language they speak is called Japanese. Of course, there are some exceptions. For example, the people who live in America are called Americans, but they speak English. The people who live in Mexico are called Mexicans, but they speak Spanish. The people who live in Egypt can be called Egyptians, but the language they speak is Arabic. This can be a little difficult, so be careful. Okay, it is time to do some practice exercises. We're going to do a couple of different exercises now. It's okay to pause the video if you need more time to answer. Don't worry if you make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, especially the first time you learn something. Okay? Let's get started. In our first exercise, I'm going to show you some words where the letters are mixed up. I want you to arrange the letters so that they make a word. All of the words will be from the list of countries we just studied. Let's do number one together. P-N-J-A-A. -A. Here we have some letters. Right now, the letters mean nothing. They do not make a word. Let's move the letters around to make a word from the list we just studied. Already, I see that we have a J, which makes me think that it's probably going to be Japan. If we move the letters around, we can see that we can make the word Japan. Okay, do the rest by yourself. Good luck.
Okay, now let's go over the answers. Number one, Thailand. Number two, Canada. Number three, Brazil. Number four, Spain. Number five, Peru. Number six, India. In our next exercise, I'm going to show you a list of capital cities. I will also show you a list of countries. I want you to match the countries to their capital cities and make a sentence. First, let's take a look at the two different lists. Here, we can see 10 different capital cities. And here we can see 10 different countries. Let's do number one together. Number one says Tokyo. I know that Tokyo is the capital of Japan because I live in Japan. So I should write down the following sentence. Tokyo is the capital of Japan. Use the same style sentence to finish the rest of the questions by yourself. Good luck. Number two, Beijing. The capital of China is Beijing. Number three, Ottawa. The capital of Canada is Ottawa. Number four. Canberra. The capital of Australia is Canberra. Number five, Cairo. The capital of Egypt is Cairo. Number six, London. The capital of the UK is London. Number seven, Berlin. The capital of Germany is Berlin. Number eight, Rome. The capital of Italy is Rome. Number nine, Buenos Aires.
The capital of Argentina is Buenos Aires. Number 10. Delhi. The capital of India is Delhi. In the last exercise, we are going to look at some different countries and think of the adjective for each country. Let's take a look at number one. Number one is Poland. So, what is the adjective for the country Poland? The correct answer is Polish. Try the rest of the questions by yourself. Good luck. Now, let's go over the answers. Number two, Chinese. Number three, Spanish. Number four, Australian. Number five, Peruvian. Number six, German. Number seven, Indian. Number eight, Thai. Number nine, Japanese. Number 10, Vietnamese. For today's homework, I want you to write down the following information in your notebook. You can do one word answers or you can write down full sentences. Here are the four things I want you to write. Number one, the name of your country. Number two, the names of the countries next to your country. Number three, the name of your language. Number four, the name for people from your country. For example, I am from 
America. Canada and Mexico are next to my country. We speak English in America. The people in my country are called Americans. Good luck! Well, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot of new words. Remember, if you like this lesson, please hit the like button. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.